Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jada and I am here to show you a thrift haul. So as I said before, I love to shop. I'll shop at outlet stores like Nina Last Call, Nordstrom Rack, TJ Maxx, and I also love to thrift. Here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, our thrift stores are usually incredible and packed full of gems waiting to be found. This kind of like a little Easter egg hunt. And today I'm here to show you around 50 to 60 items we thrifted at one thrift store. This is the most um, my mom and I have ever found at one thrift store at one time. And it is a lot of stuff. So make sure you are ready to sit down and watch. Um, I'm going to try not to make it lengthy, but 58, 50 to 60 items is a lot of things. So before we get started, I'll kind of put into perspective how much everything averaged out to be. So I think we spent around $350 on this lot of clothing. Around that, I'm not for sure, approximate, but um, everything averaged out to be $6.90. So honestly, that is a win. That's pretty great because sometimes the thrift stores here would like to price up things like Lululemon and brands because they sit in the back and look up their stuff. So unfortunately, that's the downfall of thrifting. But when you buy a big big bundle of stuff, um, when you average it out, it actually makes sense and get great stuff. So and before we get started, make sure you subscribe, follow, give me a thumbs up, and make sure to check me out on Instagram under Ann. And I will say I am a reseller, so some of this stuff will be going on to Poshmark. I'll link my Poshmark down below, so make sure you check it out. I have great stuff. Everything is in excellent condition. We do go through our stuff to make sure there's no holes, no damage, no pulls, no snags, no odors, or any of that yucky stuff, because we all know thrift stores aren't the cleanest, but when you do find good, great stuff, you find great stuff. So let's jump in. Everything is just piled here on my floor, so there's no specific order. It's just a big pile. So first things first is actually a Scrubs brand. It's called Figs. Um, it's a very popular scrub brand right now. This is the only scrub brand we pick up. So this is the black top, short sleeve. We have the matching bottoms somewhere. Once I find them, it's another pair of pants. So this is a new to me brand. The brand is called Pashco, P-A-S-K-H-O. Um, size small, these retail for 168. And like I said, everything averaged to be about $6.90. So kind of a stretchy waistband with a cute little tie and they come down into a jogger style so these are actually pretty cute i'm actually loving these so that's fun it's always fun to find new brands to you that that you didn't know that were good so here's a, some pj bottoms this is Xerina. there's some nice blue pj bottoms next i think i got the full set with me is the savage fenty by rihanna they are some silk pjs they are new with tags, so that's fine. This is a size um, 30X. It does have the matching top. There it is. It's a button down silk pajama set. It's super cute, royal purple. And the little top in the front says Savage Fenty. So I think that's fun. There's a couple more Savage Fenty pieces in here, so we'll get to it once I find it. Next we have up is a Barefoot Dreams. Hopefully most of y'all know what Barefoot Dreams is. It is the most comfiest, softest, fluffiest blanket brand, robe, loungewear brand ever. Super soft, super cozy, best. I know these retail probably for $160 and the blankets I think are about $200. Usually you can find some on sale at Nordstrom Rack, so make sure you check there. This is awesome, super soft. Next is a brand that is found on Bandier, Revolve, websites like that. It's called WSLY. This is a tie-dye sweatshirt. No tie-dye is still in. Everyone's still loving the tie-dye. It's a great print, not too 
you know, this kind of a neutral tie-dye. Okay, next is another Fenty PJ set. Again, all the Fenty stuff we have found is a 3X, and all of it is new to tax. So, yeah, see if I can find the strap. There it is, and then it's paired with some nice cute little shorts. And here we have a Spiritual Gangster hoodie. It says Spiritual Gangster on the front. On the back, it has the homes in hand. Yep, cute. Next is another new brand. We did find a lot of newer brands to us this time around, which we always enjoy looking up and finding out they are high in retail and fun to flip. So this one is called Ministry of Supply. I'll show you the tag. So if you've ever heard of M.M. Offler, it's more of a business women's clothing line, kind of very simple, neutral, classic brand. This is actually very soft and smooth, so this is how, what I consider this brand to be like in the Muffler. Very nice, size small, new attacks. And we actually, I got the two in Mufflers in front of me. Found two there. I'm not for sure what this style was. I have not, I was, I have not found it yet. It's I just considered a square neck knit tank in a very nice navy war blue. And then here's this MM muffler, super cute. It's in a very pretty terracotta color. It has kind of twists on the shoulders. Very flattering to wear with some trousers and nice pants. Okay, now we have some athletics, some outdoor voices, green biker shorts. So these are fun. I actually like the color green is in right now, so these should do well. Very happy with that. And, you know, we do pick up some nice bread and butter items like Madewell and Kappa, brands like that. So here's an, a Kappa jersey, cropped, kind of quarter sleeve shirt. And then, like I said, bread and butter, Madewell. This is a gray flannel courier shirt. It is from 2017. We try, some brands will have on their inside care tags will show they will tell you what year the clothing item was made in and made will usually says like fall holiday summer then the year this one's holiday 2017 we try to pick up newer pieces even if it is a nice piece we try we just don't pick up probably anything below 2016 just because the style and you want something it's going to flip fast or even it's for yourself you want something newer and in style so that is one thing to keep in mind it's like i think american eagle does it too um i'm sure other brands but that's just one thing i like to point out another brand is laura moshi evil eye black joggers she is super cute brand it kind of reminds me of like chaser i think it's chaser i can't really think of anything on top of my head but yeah, super cute. She has very fun prints. She is very loud and exciting with her clothing pieces. Awesome find. Here's another pair of Outdoor Voices. Women's pants. I believe these are called the Rec Trek pant. I don't know the print. It is a fun print though. I'll try to get you guys to see that. And then just a simple leg. It's not a jogger or anything, but it has pockets. We love pockets. Size small. Uh, here we are. Here are the matching fake scrub pants. I think these were size mediums and then black. And these are actually jogger style. So that is awesome. These are very nice scrubs. Scrubs are actually pretty comfy. <laughs> if they were some, a piece to wear in style, I would wear scrubs because they are super comfy. <laughs> um, here's some philanthropy. Kind of... Um, Oh, not tied, like bleached, bleached joggers. Cute, nice brand, almost like Lauren Moshi, just without the loud prints or um, graphic details. And look at the bottom of these joggers. They're just, they're like cut. It's actually very unique, very cool. Next, this is a men's item. It is Barber. Very green quilted vest with a plaid inside. There's the logo. 
from the pocket. So my family and I love Barber. And if you've ever heard of it, I know Princess Kate, she likes to wear her fair share of Barber jackets. And they're actually very, very quality. I love them, they keep you warm. We actually got some Barber jackets in Chicago and they have like a little outlet section too and we got great deals on them. So I do recommend this brand for personal use. They are great quality and hold up very nicely. Okay. Here we have rails, the softest flannels on the earth. This one just needs to be sweater shaved, but besides that, it's great. Good for fall. Not for right now, but yep. Love a good flannel. Next we have Legents, another flannel. This one's very thin and lightweight. Again, this one needs to be sweater shaved too, but no big deal. I'll try to link my favorite um, sweater shaver down below. You can get them at Nordstrom. I think they're $65.50 or $65, but my mom and I got lucky and got one for 10 bucks at Nordstrom Rack. They come in pink, white, and gray, I believe, but they are the best sweater shavers. No batteries, and you just plug it in and charges. Honestly, the best sweater sha shaver I've ever had. I, I mean, I know a lot of people like you know, to buy the cheap ones on Amazon or at Target, Walmart, but honestly, we haven't had to replace it. We've had no problems, so. 1010 would recommend. The brand is called Steamery. Steamery. And I think they have they have steamers too, but I do not recommend the steamers because they do not last long enough to steam 58 items. So I'll put that, I'll say that. Okay, another brand we have here is Viore. We didn't know what it was until we saw a little bit of a pet kind of like Lululemon. Very amazing quality athletic wear. I recommend this one too. This one, great quality, holds up great. Nice navy, navy, navy blue color, cropped. Here's some more pajama pants. The brand is Everlane, very sustainable brand. Just some navy, just some light blue PJ bottoms. Very nice. And I think this is our last figs, scrubs. So we didn't find the matching bottoms to these, but this is kind of like a green, greenish teal color. This one's actually my favorite. It's pretty cute. It's very feminine. See on the back. Yeah, so that should be great for someone in need of new scrubs. Next is another Fenty item. Like I said, everything is a size 3X as what we found and newer tags. This the shorts, I don't think we didn't see a matching bottom, but here they are. There's the new with tags. Cute. Here is another flannel. I guess we got all the nice fall stuff, so we'll be ready for this fall. Um, it's a dip dye oversized flannel. Be cute. Actually, would be cute with shorts and jeans. Actually, I like it. It's fun. Free people have some really great oversized fun color flannels. Here we have a Madewell. This is called a harmonica pullover. It actually gives me Patagonia vibes a little bit just because of the style. I think it is navy blue and white. Might have some black in it. That's actually very cute. Buttons up. Great for fall. Let's be honest, I am ready for summer. Not really thinking about the cold weather. I need a tan, so summer for me right now. Which brings me to Faraday. I consider this a really nice um, spring summer brand. These would be cute for a cool spring or summer night. This is a diamond knit jogger. Show you the bottoms, jogger style. I love this brand. It is great quality. It is expensive, but if you can find it for cheap, I highly recommend it. Next is a very boho piece. It's called Show Me Your Moo Moo. It's a peace sign sweater. Definitely not my style, but it will look good on someone and you know, it's in great condition. It's fun. Okay, maybe halfway through. So sit tight. Here, this is a shirt I actually found in the women's section. As I, when I see plain t-shirts that look nice, I feel and I go straight down to the corner, 
to see if it's Lululemon and sure enough it was. You got to make sure you look hard enough because sometimes the Lululemon logo blends in with the t-shirt. This one is a men's because you can tell by the logo it has these square little corners. But yeah, found in the women's section. Even though everything averaged at to $6.90, they actually have this one priced at $2.99. Lots of thrift stores will price their Lululemon higher because that's what a lot of resellers and there's a lot of people go for and they know what they got. And sometimes it sucks, but thankfully there are better things they don't know about and you can snag those for a better price. <sighs> Gotta breathe. Next we have is another athletic it is Beyond Yoga in collaboration with Kate Spade. See, it has roses on it, very Kate Spade style, and a bow back. You can see the logo right here, the Kate Spade diamond, it's Beyond Yoga. This one is actually very cute, it has a built-in bra. Very fun collaboration. Next is we have some very pretty silk pants. This is a Lexus, very high-end brand, stretchy waistband, very long red, reddish orange floral silk pants. They are lined, wide leg. These scream boho, these scream beach. So someone is gonna rock these this summer and spring. Next is another new brand. I want, I, I need to try these on actually because I might keep these if they fit. So the brand is B, like the letter B, B Sides Blue Jeans. Made in the USA, so that's always great to find jeans made in the USA rather than China. Um, so here they are, just simple. There's the button. I mean, no logo anywhere besides like right here, no leather tab like Levi's or Madewell or J. Crew, um, and they look like a stovepipe straight leg to me. Oh, I'll have to try these on. These are actually really cute. So I'm excited. I think these retail anywhere from 150 to 200. I did my research fast at the thrift store, so I'm not entirely sure. You can look them up, and we'll see. They actually feel very great and seem like high quality. Here's another PJ brand ever j you can find this in nordstrom's here is the pj top it is a very nice lilac purple with the matching jogger bottoms i picked up a lot of pjs this time usually we don't go look into the pjs but since we found a lot of fenty savage fenty we just might as well check make sure there's nothing else and there are some nice brawls coming up i think they're at the bottom but those are very nice and I can't wait to show you guys those. Okay, I lied about the figs because I didn't know figs make PJs. So here they are. These are great for cardiologists or nurses or anybody that works in that field because they have hearts and heartbeats on them. So these are really cute. They'll be fun for anybody working in the cardi cardiology department or with hearts. Really cute and fun. Hopefully that makes some doctor and nurse feel really good about their job. Okay, here we are. We rarely pick up anthropology, but this is a new anthropology tag. And these pants are actually very cute. They're green, like I said, green is in. These are the Wonder pants. Cute, very fun green print, if you can see that, in gold cups. Very lightweight, not too heavy, so. We'll see. Oh, everything's okay. Everything just toppled over. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, May, spring, fall, summer, depending on where you live. Not here in Texas. Too hot for those. Okay. Here we have a Madewell short sleeve sweater. This is from 2020, so we definitely picked this one up. It was in excellent condition. Super soft. This would be great for a cool summer's night with some shorts. Oh, here are the girls. Okay. So this one is called Negative Bras. You can tell it's very sheer, very thin, no padding. But these bras are pretty expensive. I cannot tell you the retail value. You can 
I can look that up and leave in the comments where you guys can look it up. But this is a size two. And you can see that the Nordstrom is in Neiman. So, yeah, that's the fun. I think we found a couple negatives. Here's a, another fun one. Very, the, I call this the holy bra. Because, I mean, it's holy. So, yeah, I mean, someone might like it. <laughs> so, here it is. It's actually, it actually is very nice. Like, these holes are not going to rip or anything that is quality and yeah I do recommend these bras because I have one myself I found at Nordstrom Rack and I don't like padded bras so these bras are perfect and I like those um okay this one's a fun one so hang tight for this one if you don't care for this kind of stuff you can kind of skip on through so this is a brand called Fleur de Mall if you haven't heard of the brand, I'm sure you've seen it on the Kardashians because that is where I heard about it. It's this it's lingerie, very cheeky lingerie, and they make very formal, sleek, um, formal wear too. Very silky. So this is a three-piece lingerie set, and I was actually looking this up this morning because I was curious. So this bra is still on Shopbop for $128, and this bra is new with tags. Actually, this bra is kind of cute, honestly. Kind of matches my shirt. <laughs> but, um, silk, um, push-up padded, new tags, black straps, adjustable. This bra is cute. And then, you know, I know I'm showing underwear, but I want you guys to realize we don't buy anything yucky or nasty. Everything right here I'm showing you is new with tags. Because, trust me, I wait. I would have never thought I would be shopping or looking at bras and underwear at a thrift store. And yes, I will spare you details that I have seen some very interesting, nasty items at the thrift store. It is stuck in my brain forever, and I won't let it be stuck in yours. So, so trust me when I know what, what I'm saying, that we don't buy anything yucky or gross or that has stains. Okay. Next is the matching underwear. This is a thong, but it is new with tags. Again, here's two piece. And then we got the garter that goes with it. This has never been worn. Again, all three of these pieces are new with tags. So this is a very cheeky collection, um, very expensive collection. So whoever donated it, I don't know why, but I'm actually kind of excited. So, yeah, here it is. All three new with tags and in beautiful condition. Everything. The bra is a 34B. The garter is a size 3. And the undies are a size 3. So, would probably sell this as a set. Next is another Fleur de Mall bra. Purple silky bra. I would say this is probably the same person who was donating because this is a 34B as well. This one's not as padded, but it's underwire. Very nice. These are very nice bras. $128 for a bra is crazy. So, I mean, teach their own, but that's pretty nice. Okay. Next, we have another athletic brand. It is Aloe Yoga. It's a very gray charcoal black color muscle tank. This is the back. Here's the front. I like Aloe Yoga as well. I believe Kendall Jenner has kind of been promoting or did a collaboration with them or something. So definitely check them out. Got some more. Lulu Sports Bra. Kind of a maroon red color. And got some fun details on the back. So you can some floral up. Kind of floral, like laser cut almost. It's a size 8 and it is padded. So it is nice. Okay, next was one I was really excited about. This is the second time we've ever found this at the thrift store. And this brand is called The Great. I love their stuff. Kind of a mustard color shirt with bubble calf sleeves, is that a thing? Maybe. But this is fun, just simple, nothing like their graphic stuff with their sweaters, but still a great piece. Um, usually we don't pick up 
just like plain t-shirts just because usually there's mock holes or holes or armpit stains but this one was in good condition and was a good print it's kind of a minty color strut t-shirt the brand is everlane kind of a boxy cut it's fun the buds go back side okay more lulu i think i have two more lulu pieces left to show y'all this is the rest less rest less i say less it's not gonna work rest less pullover in purple violet very nice has a hood and pockets love it and always make sure when you look find lulu at the thrift store that their logos are not um coming apart or um like, you know when you wash it, the logo starts, like, tearing almost? Just make sure it's in good condition because since COVID, Lulu is not fixing their logos right now. Unless that has changed, I'm not for sure. I haven't been for any repairs here lately. But usually before COVID, Lulu would repair, like, put on a new logo if it was, like, disappearing or damaged. But as of right now, I don't think they are. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, here's another Lulu. It is a windbreaker or kind of a water repellent jacket. Color block, orange and navy blue. Nice. This one actually looked like it had never been worn. Just hanging in someone's closet. Everything is like in impeccable condition. Even the zippers. There's like no scratches or like anything wrong with the zippers. And the fun thing about this, if you are a runner, unlike me, there is a ponytail slit in the hood. So if it is rainy or windy, windy, you can put your ponytail through the hood and still look cute while you run. I would wear it shopping, not running. Okay, next is a, another native bra. This one is just a bit different than that other blue one I showed you, but same idea, same mesh, um, no padding. Very nice. The next are two. Um, we never wrote, never pick up Abercrombie from Fitch, but this one was new attacks. I know a lot of people like the Teddy shirt for pullovers just for a cheaper jacket during the fall and winter time. And I know sometimes they sell out actually. But yeah, this one's nice. It's an extra large, kind of a brown, typical Teddy coat. And it's funny, they had this one priced at $20 because it was new with tags, right? And then they have another one, probably from the same person size extra large, which probably was, wasn't worn either for $8. And usually the thrift store people, they won't like do price adjustments or um, give you something cheaper just because it is what it is and, and they're stingy about it. But the lady was actually nice this time and gave us both of these for $8. So that was very nice of her. She handled our 58 <laughs> bundle very well. She's very nice and very thankful for her. So yeah, $8 for both of these. Okay. Gotta grab the rest. Here is another Lulu. I believe this is the last one. It is a Swiftly Tech Tank. This one's very fun because it has some palm leaves on it. Let's see if you guys can see that. Very nice. This is fun for summer. Oh, and here's some matching underwear to those negative bras. This one pair. Very nice see-through again, but still nice quality. Last two pieces is our, our Zara. Oh, man. Okay, sorry for the technical difficulties. My ring light just went out, and we just have two things left. So... Bear with me, hopefully you're still here. I'm gonna make this short and sweet, these last few minutes. So, okay, last two things is Zara. It's just a gray knitted hoodie, very nice. You can tell it is newer by the tag. I'll show you guys that. I like to keep tabs on tags when they change from season to season because if the care tags don't have the year it was manufactured, you can tell um, your stuff is newer based on the tags. So if you see this sort of tag, like, oh, that was from 2007 to 2010 and it's older, then you can tell this tag is newer, newer recent. So make sure you know your tags too. Okay, last thing. 
finally is Wilfred from Aritzia. Very nice creamy sweater. No holes, no stains, no pulls. Excellent condition. Kind of thought of the mock neck, but I think it's just a very thick neckline, which is very nice. It'd be perfect. Could really wear this with some white shorts or white jeans. Very cute monochromatic look. Okay, we're done. That was it. That was our 50 to 60 something thrift store haul. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I love thrifting. I love the hunt and makes me, hopefully this makes you guys want to go thrift now and see what you guys can find because this right here definitely makes me want to go thrift today. <laughs> but I know I can't because we have something special coming in the mail today. There's, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've talked about it a little bit. It is super exciting. I'll give you a little hint. It's basically a liquidation company and our favorite reseller packed a suitcase full of Nordstrom goodies. So if you subscribe, you will see that a video will be coming maybe tomorrow. No promises, but I'm definitely going to be filming it today because it's coming today and we want to open the good stuff. Oh, and before I leave, the shirt. See the shirt? This Moschino shirt? Yeah, I thrifted this. I thrifted this yesterday. And it's authentic. I know how to authenticate most designer brands. And I knew it was authentic just solely based on the quality and the care tag. So, yeah. Authentic Moschino fitted t-shirt. And it matches my hair. I am so excited. And when I saw it, I was like, mm, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. So, definitely keeping this. Not too over. We're not too small, great oversized, awesome. See, you can find designer brands at the thrift store and that is the most fun part that makes you want to come back. So yeah, hope this is thrift store haul part one. I'm sure there are gonna be many more parts, hopefully as good as this haul, we'll see. Please again, make sure to subscribe, follow, thumbs up. You know the drill, you know what to do. And, I'll try to link um, Poshmark, my Poshmark down below and follow me at JLM. Thanks guys.